Hello world, today we're going to explore how to properly fly a Cirrus SR22. So after you open Google Earth, you're going to zoom in on your map where you want to fly. Um, I'm going to choose New Bedford Regional Airport here. Just going to zoom on in there, runway 32. New Bedford Towered Cirrus SR22, holding short, runway 32, ready for takeoff. Okay, let's review the significance of all these readings on the heads-up display. The important ones are the airspeed on the left, no desert tape, on the opposite side, the altimeter, and the heading indicator, and on the left side of the screen you'll see the throttle, row, pitch, and yaw. And another important thing is in the very center of the screen you'll see a delta shape, and as soon as we get flying there'll be a cross that sort of comes beneath it and the cross symbolizes the actual path of the airplane but the delta symbolizes the attitude of the airplane or the way it's facing so on the ground for uh, directional control you can use shift plus left and right arrow keys and to break you can use period and comma so after we receive clearance to take off um, we're going to take to the runway, again using shift, left and right arrow keys, and period and comma to break. And I'll get to the throttle later. Uh, to add flaps, I usually like to have 40% flaps on takeoff. You'll do hit the F key, hit it twice. Then we're going to do full throttle. And the plane has a tendency to fly to the left. So you're just going to use right brake down the runway. Now I've rotated. And you can put your flaps up by using shift plus F. Now one ha very handy tool in Google Earth is command or control on PC plus the arrow keys. And that will that that allow you to do is that allow you to pan outside of your airplane as so. So right now I'm doing command left arrow key so now for the throttle control it'll be page up page down on a Mac it'll be function plus the arrow keys so now we're at paddle and altitude I'm on the downwind for the other runway again using those panning controls to see where I am in proportion so to steer the airplane to raise the nose you can use down arrow key to drop the nose you can use up arrow key or um, you can use the same controls on the mouse. Left arrow key will make the plane turn left, right arrow key make the plane turn right. And you can also use that by moving the mouse as well. So now I have 40% of flaps in, we're just going to get right into landing. I'm turning base. On the base turn I want to be in between 90 and 100 knots. So I'm on my base, and I'm going to continue that turn onto final. So now I'm going to start going, trying to set my approach speed. So I'm bringing the power down now, trying to establish between 80 and 90 knots the final approach. Now I'm using full flaps to get me in that range. I'm a good at 85 knots. And I think I have the runway made. So I can coast on down that. So I begin to cross the threshold I'm going to raise the nose and keep raising it right down the center line. Keep raising it and set down right there. All about landing. And that is how you fly a Cirrus SLR22 in Google Earth. You can see my videos of how to fly an F16. Thank you for watching. Elliot signing off. Thanks.